Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Alex here with Brian from uh, Old School Tackle, and we're pretty much highlighting our favorite brands from this past year. Uh, you know, for all our fishery around here, for our upcoming eight cast slash spring kickoff sales event coming up February 26 and 27. So I know you're kind of new to the Western Shore here, but you've been out for a little while. Yep. Out here uh, on the Eastern Shore. So let's talk about a little bit about your product here and what you like the most and how you started and, you know, what inspired you to kind of start the brand and whatnot. Um, so I, I started out in a hobby years ago, mm -hmm. started making it for myself and friends. Uh, didn't launch it as a business until 2018. Um, started really building up a following on the Eastern Shore. Um, in the market, there wasn't a lot of soft plastic manufacturers making smaller grubs, paddle right. tails, fish in the creek, shallow waters. So um, I started making what I wanted to fish. Yeah. And then it just started, we started getting into eight inch grubs last year because people wanted to start capitalizing on the right. trolling market. They like the durability of the plastics, um, that they hold up to multiple fish, the versatility and the action. Um, some of these baits on the paddle tails, I'll go and catch largemouth bass on it one day. Oh, yeah. Take it out, catch speckled trout, puppy drones. Even snakehead, I guess, right? Snakehead, <laughs> you have to snakehead destroyers right. here that we make for Blackwater's Edge. So, and it's the same compound that we use in the rest of it. There's nothing mm -hmm. different. It's just they got their unique color pattern. And I see you got some unique stuff on like the paddle tails that I see here. Yeah. Like one of the biggest things I like about that, uh, the mold, I guess, is how it's like a straight cut uh, right on the front there. Yep, it's a straight cut. It's everything that we use. I mm -hmm. use everything on jig heads. So right. um, it really matches up nice, snugs up. If you're using a triple barb collar, it really holds on well, sort of like the mullet jigs that we have on our spinnerbaits. Right. Um, I know the hack is to use a lot of super glue and try to get everything and to hold up. Some people don't like that, right? But with the compound of the plastics mm -hmm. and the jig heads, that bait doesn't move. It right. holds up to multiple strikes after multiple strikes. And so I pretty much, that's the way I like to fish. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be constantly rigging, re rigging. Exactly, no one likes that. <laughs> no, every every second of my line's out of the water, I feel like I'm, it's another missed opportunity to right. fish. So. so tell us a little bit about your spinner here. or the, the So spinner. the spinner, we actually, um, this is our brass. This year mm -hmm. we actually came out with a nickel plated more for the salt water. Right. So one of the feedbacks that we get um, last year was tarnishment on the brass. Mm -hmm. Um, so we have the brass spinners for the freshwater guys, but for the saltwater guys, we came out with a completely nickel design, right. everything from the swivel down. So, um, but yeah, I mean, this is one of those baits where I was catching largemouth on it and I had the same pole, didn't change it mm -hmm. out. Next day, speckled trout. And that's one of those baits that I've seen a lot down south that a lot mm -hmm. of people don't use a lot up right. here. And it's an underrated bait because I've actually used pretty much that same style bait to catch snakeheads mm -hmm. and like you said largemouth and all that but even rockfish yep. wanted those things so it's a unique bait that a lot of, we're starting to see more of in this yeah, general you're area. Starting to get, you're starting to get into a lot of the different mm -hmm. um a lot of the different strategies that they're using right. down south you know you're starting to get more popping corks exactly and getting, getting some other things so you know, we're trying, that's another thing that's in the works. We'll see if I can get that Oh, we've got some stuff in there, huh? Uh, yeah, 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 that's a kind of a little, the more more people yell at me, the right. more I got to start <laughs> this stuff. So one other thing I want to touch bases in here is with this, I guess, uh, middle of the shore color here. I know you work with the guys down there at Blackwater's Edge. Yep. And to kind of mimic, I guess, that minnow color. Yeah, they, re they really wanted that mud minnow mm -hmm. look. Um, so we came up with that unique color pattern. It's solely theirs. So um, I know you can get it down at the Wolford store and wherever Kaz Kitty yeah. decides he's going to drop them you off. You can get them here so. too. Yeah, and that's a good, too. that was the top, one of the top sellers last year, honestly. That profile, that color, I know I talked to a lot of guys coming in here and they love that pattern there. So, you know, for all the snake it, but remember, not just snake it. I mean, no, there's I minnows mean, everywhere throughout you know, the bank, in, right? In this same mold yeah. um, that we have, we've been getting pictures this winter, a lot of chain pickerel. Um, so a lot of the, the toothier critters, right. even in freshwater, man, our baits, they hold up, they're durable. And um, like we were speaking of the grubs uh, with those, I know you were talking about trolling, but mm -hmm. I know some of the Kobe guys are probably using them too, yep. right? Yep, they, they're they catching, everything's been caught on that from Kobe, bull reds, big straight bass. So um, it's very, it's it's versatile. So for the light tackle guys that are doing a lot of vertical jigging mm -hmm. casting, um, that's been working out really well for him in the two right. sound. So, so I know we got some. Uh, you got just some favorite colors that we don't have here, and we're most likely going to be having them here for the sale. Hopefully, so okay. stay tuned for that because there's some colors I've seen from uh, 
your selection that yeah, they got, look really 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 good yeah yeah we've got so the the pat the the strategy for this mm -hmm. year is we're going brighter and bolder so that was a lot of things you know when you start adding a lot of flake it kind of dulls the colors right. down um, a lot of guys were saying they need it bigger brighter bolder right so we've got we've got a couple color schemes that are that you need sunglasses to look at them they're right they're some of my favorite ones are like that uh, i've seen i think some of your models have that color tail on the paddle tails on there yeah so that one is something that we are going away from mm -hmm. this year so we take a lot of feedback and criticism to heart so we were having a little bit of bonding issues on the tails. Gotcha. So until we get that worked out this season, we're not so going to might have... come back in the future. Yeah, gotcha. we've really got to work with the mold manufacturer and find a way to mm -hmm. secure that bond because I want, I don't, I, I got, right. you know, quality you want for the best product right? for the angler exactly. out there. Exactly, so um, Understand we're working on it, but I think it's going to need some fabrication work yeah. on the mold side to actually get a cleaner bond on it. So, so overall, I mean, awesome, you know, company, local to our area here. Remember guys, support your local tackle manufacturers. Besides that, remember they're gonna be 20% off for our spring kickoff slash ACAST. So come by, check them out. I mean, you will definitely need some of these in your tackle box, especially for all the cool stuff we got around the area. Uh, if you're a freshwater guy or saltwater guy, definitely check them out. Yep. Yep. Well, thank you for coming by today, Brian. Thanks for having me. Yep.